Nowadays, student-centered learning is very popular and we actively use it at Sulhan Sabah Bilyani University. Today, I'm going to show you the video about task-based learning, which is very uh, useful for languages. The topic of the lecture is information overload. Now, please look at the board and give me your ideas. What do you think the word information overload means? Uh, you can find every information you are interested in. Uh, information for me, no, a lot of it. I received information and I found it. Now, uh, students, what will be your task? Here we have the text information overload. Please read it and then we have to discuss it, okay? So, you have seven minutes to complete the task. The stages of the lectures are pre-task, task preparation, during task and post-task. Stage 1 prepares students about upcoming tasks. In stage 2, students are prepared to do tasks on their own. During the task, students do individual, group or peer work. In the last stage, students make presentation about the given task. in modern life, there are sports and websites to watch, uh, emails and to be answered. People who want to chat with friends, family, information which is very interesting uh, for us. Uh, there is more information that is not uh, for us very common. You can search uh, some information and connect uh, with our friends, uh, with our friends. Mm -hmm. and uh, also here uh, um, can make people injections, uh, also uh, less product and uh, less uh, creative thinking. In interesting information, but much of the information is uh, uh, relevant or useful. Obscure companies and even uh, more obscure products. Uh, it's necessary to know that um, uh, scientists say three big challenge and maybe we say worries. Mm -hmm. uh, first one is that information overload can make people depressed. Secondly is that information overload can make people less creative. Mm -hmm. And third one is that information overload can make people less productive. To reduce information overload, what are the suggestions from the text? You can install a uh, called Freedom, um, which is connect you from the uh, web and present times. Okay, so what is the best solution? What do you think? When you're doing other things or when you are studying your lectures and you have other information or you must chat to your friends or getting your emails or do other things, it makes us unpractical. First of all, switch our mobile phone, of course, leaving it uh, our home, go out, feel the nature, uh, read the book. Um, or simply be with friends, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good, thank you. Look at the words and please try to guess the meaning from the context, okay? You have three minutes to complete this task. For example, first one is kids, then vloggers, survey and so on. Look at them and try to give me definition. What does they mean from the context? Uh, Nina, please. A uh, person who uh, uploads uh, information in social, 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 social networks. Uh, and I get uh, other information, country, culture, and uh, history. When you say it, you can get information. Uh, switch of our uh, when you don't use uh, the computer and turn off it. Look at this exercise. Here we have three sentences. Read these three sentences and circle the correct one. Overload. They enjoy their job less. Of course, when you use a computer. Talk to your partner and let's talk about do you suffer from information overload in your life? Uh, I have uh, good informa information, 
much uh, information. What much information? What are important for us? So I think that there is many uh, information overload. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, when I study, I'm not interested in what they are doing, uh, my friends on Facebook, and where they are checking in, or what they are eating. Uh, and for me, it's very irritating. You have to write down about what are advantages and disadvantages of social networking. So, you have to talk in your groups of four about this task and then one of your friends will be presenting to our class. Chota and with that time, please, and girls, you will be together. information a few seconds. Uh, also, you can read PDF version in the internet. Uh, also, uh, we understand things which what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. And also, you uh, can to uh, listen music. We just uh, feel uh, less uh, productive and uh, less uh, paid. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, for example, uh, I mean, Jeff is uh, uh, when I uh, use my like, uh, Facebook. Um, I get much information, uh, see my friend, uh, talk about ourselves and have good communication. Some people think that it will uh, very different in a social network. So at home you are going to write an article about advantages and disadvantages of social networking. Okay? It won't be a presentation, but it should be article for newspaper or for website, okay? okay. Any questions? No, no questions. Okay, thank you for coming. Have a good and nice day. On our English lectures, we work with modern methods. During the uh, classes, we work in pairs and in groups. Uh, and we have discussions about uh, different issues. I like this kind of English lectures because it's very interesting and challenging for me. Uh, every lecture uh, we receive more and more new information and new words. So, one well, my English lectures! Uh, my English lectures uh, are very comfortable. Every lecture we have discussion and our lecture is very friendly. We study everything what are important for us and give us great education.